How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back to yet another review. Um, Belgian double time. Belgian style double time. In the form of Mystic Brewing's Vinland 3. Uh, first Mystic Beer I'm having, I think. For some bizarre reason, I think I've had something from these guys before, but it is slipping my mind. So I'm just going to say it's the first time I'm having any of their beers. Um, this was uh, sent to me by Ben Beans Baxter on Instagram. Go check him out if you're into beer. Um, Post a lot of cool stuff about beer. Um, he uh, sent this to me in a little beer uh, mail, and yeah, super excited to give it a whirl. Uh, as far as what it says on the bottle, um, Mystic Vinland uh, Native Yeast Series, native beer fermented with pure yeast isolated from Vermont farmstead. Um, fermented in square fermenters using Mystic's house cultivated cultures, unfiltered and pasteurized and bottle conditioned. Um, government warning stuff, 6% alcohol by volume, it's supposedly a double. 6% double, you know. All Mystic beers are naturally re-fermented in a bottle for carbonation. So there is yeast in the bottle. Uh, store up right. Enjoy at 45 degrees, which is a little weird for a double. Um, our Vinland series seeks to discover and culture individual yeast native to America and create a beer entirely made from a single strain native to a location. This year we went to a family farmstead in a valley in Vermont called People Dungeon, uh, Popple Dungeon, sorry. Uh, we isolated a single strain from a spontaneous fermentation of wild raspberries. There are, however, no raspberries in this beer. Mystic Brewery sits at the base of Admiral Hill in the Mystic River Valley of Metro Boston. We focus on method and technique to recapture the mystic nature of early brewing at our fermentorium. Fermentorium. That's pretty much it. Anyways, it's cool. Uh, you know, doesn't blow me away, doesn't, whatever. Is what it is. Love me some doubles. I like the idea of uh, wild yeast. So let's see what this sucker has to offer. Every time you have some kind of wild cultivated yeast, you gotta sit back because that cork might come flying out. You don't know what the hell's going on in that bottle. Oh, yeah, that wanted to come out really bad. <laughs> I didn't even barely give it a little tug and it kind of just came out. So let's see. Labeled as a double. Like I said, 6%. You know, just want a little bit more ABV, I guess it would say to be a double. And uh, the head is gigantic. I mean, we're dealing with um, wild yeast, I guess you would say, or native yeast, as they would put on here. Um, you know, you're typically going to expect a little bit of a head. So you got about three and a half fingers of just off-white cat color. It had a decently creamy top to it. Small, medium, large bubbles. Um, Color-wise, that's spot on for a double, though. Cash money. You're talking about a unfiltered, hazy brown. Um, looks like caramel in a glass, almost. You know? So, that's exactly how I want my doubles to look. So, yeah. She looks delicious. Let's see if I can get a nose off this head the size of Nebraska. Definitely get a little bit of funkiness there. A um, little bit of dark fruit. Mostly like a date's figginess. Um, very subtle though, not really picking up that atypical Belgian candy sugar you get from a double, um, but it does smell <sighs> Belgian-esque in the nose, very gentle, very light, doesn't smell super robust, um, but yeah, it smells nice. It's definitely, you can tell they're using a non-Belgian yeast strain. You're not getting that huge Belgian-based breadiness you typically get from a double. But yeah, I mean, it smells nice. It doesn't smell much like a double, but it smells nice. So, it looks nice. Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. Yeah. Really unique. Um... Not a ton of flavor there, but it's definitely yeast driven. I have this almost like um, somewhere between a Brett and a Saison yeast kind of thing going on there. It's uh, not sour, definitely funky, um, definitely wild in, in, in flavor, um, but it's just uh, the driving force in the beer is the yeast itself. Is it a good thing? Eh, it is what it is. It's a nice little experiment to do with the beer, um, but it just lacks on all fronts for me. Um, a little bit um, watery, not as 
creamy, as fluffy as I'd want it to be, even though it looks the part. Um, Taste-wise, really, like I said, you're not getting that Belgian uh, candied sugar. Just the ever so slightest bit of like dates, maybe a little bit of figgy there, but it's so, so subtle. Um, definitely no um, that breadiness you typically want from a, a Belgian-influenced beer or a Belgian double. And it's that really that kind of somewhere between a Saison and a Brett kind of yeast going on. A little bit of funkiness, a little bit of almost barnyardiness. Zero hop presence whatsoever. It's not a bad beer. It's just I don't even know what to call it. You can definitely understand why it's called a double. Because um, that's probably closest to what it would resemble if you were to taste it blind. But it's just kind of lacking on all fronts. Uh, rating wise, I'd give it an 80 only because it's not a bad beer. Um, it's not negative. It's I actually think it tastes alright and I'm going to finish it. It just lacks any kind of inspiration for me. So 80 because it's not offensive, it just lacks personality. Uh, value and availability, like I said, it was sent to me, can't get it in my area, so I'm not really gonna read it on value and availability at all. And uh, there you go. Mystic Vinland 3, Belgian style, double brewed with a uh, cultivated yeast from a farm. Um, again, for me, um, Belgian beers, it's, it's like, in the United States, a lot of the United States-based beers are really hop-driven. You have a lot of like hop influence, you know, your citrus hop, uh, pine hop. You have your um, tropical fruit hop. All these hops that bring all these flavors, and it's a very an American thing to have these hops kind of drive the flavor. Um, Belgium kind of flipped the script. A very yeast-driven style of beer, whether it be Belgian strong darts, doubles, triples, the whole nine. Um, it, it's very yeast forward. So with this being, trying to be a double, but being a yeast that's just doesn't really work for that kind of beer, that's what kind of makes it not hit the mark. Uh, so there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Uh, if you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And like, and subscribe, and all that fun stuff. If you like, check us out anywhere else on the internet. You can Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, on tap, the Max of Beers, and all four of those places. And uh, yeah, another review down. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully, you're enjoying a nice Belgian inspired double right now. And hopefully, see you next time. Cheers.